Good morning, you guys. It's me, Kiana, coming at you today, and it is now about 9.30 in the morning. I wanted to come at you guys and do Confession Fridays, as we usually do. Last week, we got sidetracked, as you all know, and we wasn't able to do Confession Fridays, but I think it's important for us to do it. For one, like I said, it's an opportunity for us to all share, for us to see that we're so similar, but yet so different. Um... For us to also see that the grass is not always greener on the other side because I think that often um, YouTube shows or depicts only um, the good, the uh, you know the the great times, the good moments, and it's not necessarily that we as people that do the videos only show that, but it's often. I mean, how often do you really get on YouTube and actually have something to say? that is negative. Usually when you're on YouTube, you usually don't reveal certain things or your problems, your issues um, of that day, that month, that year period. Um, some of us reveal it and some of us don't. As for me, um, my past videos, y'all know I've showed you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, um, like I said, I think it's important for us to do that. And it's also important for us to be able to grow. Um, that is something that I'm very very big on you guys and you all know that um, I think that we're supposed to as time goes by we're not supposed to be at the same place this is what you were a year ago you're not supposed to be a year later um, you have you are supposed to move forward and move um, in, a, in a progressive state and um, I think that by us getting the Friday confessions out we're able to know what we need to work on for that upcoming week that next week um, and we could do so together as women, as a sisterhood. So, um, let me first start off um, showing you guys the look of the day and also giving you guys a disclaimer. I know I've given this disclaimer before, but I think that it's, imp it's, it's I think that it needs to be reiterated again um, because, well, let me just do the look of the day and I'll tell you why the disclaimer needs to be done yet again um, this is a orange look it's an off the shoulder uh, shirt I don't know if you guys can see it it is an off the shoulder sh shirt with uh, peasant pleasant help what they call it peasant sleeves I just have um, a gloss on my lip and I applied my concealer pad on my lip for the nude lip um, you all know I use that as my base and also my brow bone and I just simply use my 120 palette one second. I just used my 120 palette and I'll show you the colors that I use for that. I went into the brown for my outer V. I went into this dark orange right here, which is almost like a reddish color as far as appearance on in the palette, but on the eye it's like a dark burnt orange. Um right here. And then I went into this for my lid, which is a brighter orange. And then I just blended that brown into that orange right here. And this one as well. And I got this look. And I will show you guys up close. to confess this week. I actually wrote a lot of it down um, on the back of a shoebox because that's all I could grab at the moment. Um, disclaimer. The things that I reveal, the things that you guys reveal below in the comment section for Friday Confessions are not intended for it to be used against us. It is not intended to be picked apart. It is not intended to throw any slurs or shade to anyone. For these are just our feelings, our thoughts, um, things that we want to grow in, things that we want to improve on. Please do not think that these things are about you. You're, you're really not that important. <laughs> you're really not. Um, and also, um, be open. I mean, we're not here to judge anyone. Often we do judge each other. As humans, we judge each other as women. Um, but Friday Confessions, 
please make a real effort not to do that. Um, and it's important for all of us, including myself, uh, because if we don't get together and talk and help each other, then and if we're just judging each other, how are we actually going to grow? How are we going to actually help the next woman grow? Um, and how are we going to grow as individuals ourselves? So, again, these are not to be picked apart. These are not to be thrown in anyone's face. These are not to be made into rude comments or rude videos or daggers being thrown. It is not for that purpose at all. And you actually make an ass of yourself if you, in fact, try to do so. Okay, because these are done with good intentions and, good, and, and for us to grow. Now, my Friday confession. You all know below, I'm going to also put what I plan on improving on for this week, um, dealing with my Friday confessions, um, and how I plan on uh, doing better. So, um, I always say my confessions in the video, and like I said in the comment section below, I put the things that I need to improve on and how I'm going to do so, actively improving. All right. Um... One of my Friday confessions are I had to fight with everything inside of me. I had to fight with everything inside of me. Not to respond, not to um, reveal certain things I know, not to refer stuff. I had to fight with everything inside of me, not to... continue to perpetuate what society thinks of not only black women but women in general it really took a lot out of me not to go too much into certain things it really took a lot out of me not to lay things out and say look at this and, and listen to this and it really took a lot out of me you guys and and I made it look easy, but you have to understand that, yes, Kiana has a spiritual side. That is a major part of me, but I am also human and I also am flesh. And I also used to be a different person, very much so. You can even, you can even go back on my videos and it would have been a whole different story. It would have been an entire different story. So... My Friday confession is that um, I did want to go back and forth. I did want to lay things out. I did want to refer a exhibit A, B, and C. I did want to forward stuff that people sent sent to me. I did, but I didn't. So um, I guess that was a good thing. <laughs> um, Let's see, another Friday confession is um, I was a little happy when I saw some videos of exposing other YouTubers. Um, I was a little happy when I saw them because I felt that it was saying some things that I wanted to say without saying it. I also felt that somebody saw discrepancies and things that clearly was clearly was not the case. Um, I felt that I was understood in some ways. I felt um, I felt hey yes I have people on my side too um, and the reason why I say that would be a confession is because I am trying to grow and the person I'm trying to grow into would not be happy about that at all um, the person I'm trying to, to be would not look at that and smile a little bit. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? So, 
that's what I need to improve on. That's something I need to work on because even if I feel insulted and attacked, I should not want the other person to be attacked and insulted as well. And I try to maintain as far as not going too much into, you know, comments and stuff. Because I always told you guys, when you allow, we all have the ability to allow comments and allow things to be said and allow things to dwell on. We all have that ability because we can just simply press a button that says remove. Uh, we don't even have to block the individual, but we can remove the comment if we wanted to. So in a sense, because we have that ability, it is in a sense you are saying it yourself um, because you are allowing people to continue on your channel to do those things and I've been good with as far as telling you guys that I don't want just because we may disagree or somebody may quote unquote try to go in um, I don't want us to continue to say with so much about the other person we can say what we don't like or disagree but we don't have to have personal insults and thus things like that and I've told you guys before, this is this can be verified, it's in videos, that I don't want us to be like that. I don't want us to be those type of women at all. Not on my channel. And that's all I can control. Um, and in fact, I can control it because, like I said, I can easily remove the comments. Um, so, I will do better with, you know, not... If I was hurt or offended or insulted or attacked not wanting to see the other person um, be the same those things um, and that's a work that's a process that's that's a process because um, it's almost it's almost as sad but it's almost natural for us to if we were hurt or something for us to initially our first reaction almost is to do the same thing um, so I will continue to work on that that is something that I need to do um, another thing is, my confession is, I feel like sometimes I have to now censor myself. And with censoring yourself, you guys, one of the things I've prided myself on, especially with my channel, I don't know if it comes across to everybody, um, you know, I have no idea, I cannot control what somebody's perception is, but I, I do know that I try my best not to censor myself or mute myself because that's not being authentic. That's that's actually being fake to me. That's why um, sometimes my videos be jacked up. That's why sometimes my videos be a little dark. Sometimes my videos be high. Sometimes they be low. But they're real. They're not edited. They're, and I do this because I come on here not as the YouTube person all the time, but I come on here as Kiana. I come on here as people, somebody that really trying to show her life and share her life with y'all. And I come on here as y'all friend. I mean, that's what it is to me. Now, to some people, it may be entertainment only. That's you. And a lot of people say, well, it's not that serious. It's entertainment. It's YouTube. That's you. I just ask that people respect the fact that I may be different from you. I may view things different than you. And that doesn't make me right. And that doesn't make you wrong. But it just is different. And I just find myself having to mute myself. And I am more mindful now because I don't want to offend anybody. And I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But at the same time, I think that people look for things to use against you. Well, I think for people look for opportunities to try to um, have something to say about you or to you. Um, and I really do think that people search for that. And with people searching for it, it's almost like they can mold something that your intentions or what you're saying, they can mold it into whatever they want and then run with it. So it's kind of hard to mute myself even technically because people still can make it about them or they can still turn it around and, you know, mold it into what they want to use against me or whatever. 
So even if I was to mute myself, it still can be made out to something else. So I battle back and forth with if I should mute myself, if I shouldn't. Now, I am mindful, like I said before, more mindful now because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and I don't want to, you know, target anyone or anything, anything, anything like that. But at the same time, I have to be who I am and use this outlet for what I want to use it for and not conform to what others want me to be. Because again, then that's not being who I am and that's not being authentic and that is being fake. Um, but as I am working on myself and as I am trying to grow and improve on myself, at times I may say something a little risky to you. I may say something that you don't like. I may say something that is out of the box that you have put me in. And I just ask for others to, again, understand that I am different. You are different. There is no right. There is no wrong. Um, to not put me inside of a box. Because when you put people inside of a box, when they come out of that box, even if it's nothing you know, they haven't done anything wrong per se, but when they come out of that box that you you have put them in, then there's issues and there's disappointment and there's, you know, um, negative reactions. That's because you put me in a box. If you don't put me in a box and just, if we all just don't put each other in a box and we love people for who they are, um, whether they're going through something, whether they're in the stages of growing, if you just love them today, then we won't have as many issues as we have. Um, because we'll understand that their life is is in a growing process. So I just ask again, as I've asked in my description box on my page when it's a when underneath about me, do not put me in a box. Therefore you won't be disappointed. Therefore you won't expect. Therefore, you won't be shocked. Just understand that I am a work in progress, just like you are. And understand that I am human and flawed. And understand that I am actively working on being a better me, as I hope you are as well. Um, the next thing that I wanted to confess was... I'm not going to lie, sometimes I do, because I'm not... My subbies... Everybody's subbies are not the same quality, okay? And that's not a put-down. Please do not make that into something, an issue. That's not a put-down. The fact is, is that you have a certain demographic, okay? Even people that do videos, you can actually see, you know, the age frame, um, how many, the ratio of how many males you have as far as subscribers, um, the age groups, the ratios of that. You can see all that on your channel, okay? My biggest following is in the age frame of 41 to 52, I believe. And because of that, I think that that's why my subscribers are a different type of women, usually. Now, I do have some male subscribers. Those are my sugar bears. And those, they are faithful. They're not going to, men don't bring drama, really. Not not that much, okay? They very rarely bring drama. It's sad but true, okay? Um, sad because I'm saying that, you know, we as women, we often are the total opposite of that. Um, this is the thing. Because my subscribers are a different caliber or quality and a different age group, I think that the older you are, the less drama that you find yourself wanting around be, be to be around. Um, and because of this, my subscribers are the type that, yeah, they'll PM me and tell me things, but it's not for on display and it's not for a witch hunt and it's not for, you know, to to really destroy people. 
really my subscribers really don't have the time for that now I have a couple of them that will go in every now and then but again they know that I'm the type of person where I will remove the comment even if I'm cool with you why because it's unnecessary PM me if you want to say something like that it's unnecessary to, to keep having things going and and making yourself look it making yourself look silly in a sense and degrading yourself your family and everything like that my subscribers really ain't on that kind of time and because of that sometimes it make it doesn't look like you guys support me as much as other people's subscribers do okay now with knowing what I told you guys about I understand why still me being human sometimes I feel a little kind of I feel a little something when I feel a little something when I'm not in my eyes being supported at all times I feel a little something when people that roll with me for real would allow people to thumbs down and thumbs down say a video has 20 thumbs down and 22 thumbs up I feel a little something when I know that I'm real cool with like more than 21 people so why would they let the thumbs downers in a sense in my eyes the silly side of me would say win why would they let the thumbs downers win in my eyes do you understand what I'm saying um so I feel a little something when I see that that kind of stuff and that makes me feel like I'm not as supported as I should be or as people proclaim to do and I need to do better at that because I have to understand that everybody loves in their own way. I have to understand that, again, my subscribers are a different caliber and different quality maybe than other people's su subscribers. I have to understand that my subscribers are not children. I have to understand that my subscribers are not, um, they're not here for certain things. They're watching my channel because they do like to see growth and they do like to to have somebody that you know is not going to maybe you know if their children come in the room they got to put it on me that's why my subscribers are here and I have to understand that my audience is different from other people's audience because of who I am and what I represent and what I'm trying to do and because of that they're not going to dwell in the foolishness they're not going to um, go in on people all the time and all that kind of stuff do you understand what I'm saying and again I say this again this is not a put down to anyone I don't I have to say these things over and over and over again because people hear what they want to hear this is not a put down to anyone this is just me voicing how I felt and what I need to work on can you allow me to do that that's all I'm asking um, the other thing I wanted to, oh, well, like a piggyback on what I just said. So that is something I need to, um, work on because I need to remind myself at times why that is and keep that in mind at all times so that I won't feel any certain kind of way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, the other thing is I wanted to, um, say the last thing is one of my confessions is I want to start reading more to Pooty. I, I already do but I want to start reading more I want to start a tradition where we actually buy um, just like you can buy we buy wigs and hair and all that kind of stuff I want to literally every three or four days go out book buying um, with Pooty and let him actually pick out his own book um, now I already do you know buying that kind of stuff but I want to do it every certain amount of days just like I can go out and buy earrings, I can go out and buy hair, I can go out and buy lip glosses. I want to do that a little more than I usually do. Reading to him once or twice a day, that's fine. That's already done. But I want to, and it's not necessarily always done by me. Um, but that's what I'm, I need to focus on me. I need to focus on what I need to do. I need to focus on what I need to uh, improve on to be better at being a wife, a mother, a child of God. Um, a servant um, 
a friend, uh, all those things. Um, so I can't worry about how many times other people do it. I, I'm, I'm glad they do. My husband does it. Nene does it. But I want to do it more. Me. And um, I want to do at least, you know, like I said, the standard is usually once or twice a day. I want to start doing where I read something. Where I do it at least like three times a day. Um, and actually going out in every three days buying a new book and having it as a little tradition that I do with him, not just Chuck or Nene. Um, so that concludes my Friday confessions, you guys. I know it was kind of long, but I had so much to say because we skipped last week. Um, I also had so much to say because it was on my heart to say it. Um, again, I hope that no one was offended by anything I said. Um, I hope that no one turns it around into something, an issue. Um, I've said that several times in this video, but who knows? We already know it may be. Um, again, please understand my intentions for doing Friday Confessions. Um, it is for us to get together in a sense like, basically like in a cafe of us getting together and just chilling together as women and just trying to figure out where we went wrong during the week and how this upcoming week we can do better and be better um, for us to grow as women, for us to grow as wives, for us to grow as mothers and yes, for us to grow as better servants of God um, so, on that note you guys, I love you all so much I thank you all for tuning in know that I love you truly um, you are part of my family you guys um, sometimes it's dysfunctional <laughs> but what family is it? But I do truly love you guys, and I have um, welcomed you guys into my life and my home, my heart. And um, I hope you have done the same with me. All right, you guys. Love you so much. Be blessed.